Hi, this is Ryan from the DH Maker Bus team, and I'm here today to show you how to make a macro lens using a laser pointer and a bobby pin. On the table, you see everything we're going to need for today's experiment. Laser pen, bobby pins, scissors, needle nose pliers, and tape. All you need. And all these supplies will cost you more than no more than a couple dollars. So first start by taking the laser pointer out of the, the package. You can buy laser pointers like this at the dollar store for, for about $1.25. They're quite affordable. So pull the laser pointer out. You won't need any of the other parts that it comes with. But if you want to keep using the laser pointer after we do this experiment, it'll still work. So you can pull out the batteries and you can see what happens after you take the lens out. So next we're going to start by unscrewing the cap on the laser pin. So just take it off and inside you'll see a little black ring. And in the center of that black ring is the lens. That's what we're trying to get at today. So take the needle nose pliers and unscrew the black ring. Sometimes they come out really easily, sometimes you have to put a bit of pressure on it. Really just depends on how the laser pointer was made. And then tap the lens out. It should tap right out, but be careful, it's really small and it's easy to lose. So there's the lens. It's not very big, and that's exactly what we're trying to use today. Next, we just want to grab a bobby pin. Again, you can buy these at the dollar store. For a dollar, you'll get hundreds of bobby pins. So you need one bobby pin and the lens. Next, I'm going to put the batteries back in the laser pen and show you what happens after you take the, the lens out of a laser pointer. Because the lens exists to focus the beam and create a single point, once you take the lens out, the, the beam of the laser is actually quite diffused. It'll still work but it'll only work for a short distance and make a much bigger dot, as I'm about to demonstrate. See? And the closer you get, the tighter the beam will be. The further away, the more diffused. It's a lot of fun. You can kind of use it like a red flashlight in, in the dark. So next, we're going to grab our smartphone. Now, I'm using my smartphone, but this will work on any phone with a camera. Flip phone, smartphone, tablet, doesn't matter. All that matters is that the, the lens on your camera is about the same size as the lens in the laser pointer. So there's the lens. So next we're going to want to sandwich the lens in between the arms of the bobby pin. Like so. The bobby pin creates a nice little platform to hold the, the lens in place. This also makes it easy to remove uh, once you're done using it with your phone. Next we're going to want to put the lens right over the camera. Now. You see the little white circle beneath where I put the bobby pin? That's the flash. Sometimes it's easy to get those two things mixed up, so you want to put it over the lens on your camera. Next, I'm going to tape it right down to hold it in place. Any kind of tape will work, really. And now we're good to go. So we've created a very powerful macro lens that increases the focal point on our camera by about 136 times. Now, this will disable any auto zoom, autofocus features, so you're going to want to just manually hold the camera until the image comes into focus. I'm taking a picture of that spring right now. Great! So now you're on your way to seeing the world in an entirely different view. After this little video, I'm going to show you some examples of photos we've taken with this. So for less than $2, you can create a powerful macro lens that will give you an entirely new insight on the world. So for more information about the DH Maker Bus, or any information or tutorials in general, visit www.dhmakerbus.com. We'll see you soon. Thanks.